So how internalizing rejection leads to shame, which impedes the development of guilt. This is really important. Shame is directed towards the self. Guilt is directed towards the behavior and the distress that it's caused the other person. When we apologize, I'm sorry I hurt you. Shame cannot do that. Shame experiences the self as all bad, all worthless, all unlovable. And kids with rejection sensitivity and have internalized their adoption as rejection are living in shame. And you will recognize them because they feel that they can do little to fix themselves or change the core of who they are. As a result, because their behavior and themselves are all meshed in one. When I do something wrong, I'm all wrong. As a result, they're likely to deny, lie, make excuses, or blame others because they can't take responsibility. It's not that they won't, they can't. So excessive shame prevents the development of guilt. Individuals who are rated high on measures of shame are rated low on measures of empathy. Individuals who experience guilt readily when wrong are rated high on measures of empathy. So the treatment is separate the person from their situation called the shame witch. And this is a form of narrative therapy. And we start from the bottom. The shame witch goes like this. You're going to separate them with the bread on the bottom. You're a good person. You're brave. You matter. You're absolutely enough. You are loved for who you are. You are doing the best that you can. Then the lettuce, the pickle, the tomato, the turkey, all the stuff, things that were mistakes, things that were wrong. We're going to put all the emphasis on that, the problem. That's what's wrong. That's what we're trying to figure out. That's the problem we're working on. And the bread on top is you are a good person. You're learning you matter, you are absolutely enough. It's the shame witch. If we don't separate that out, again, it's like a bubble. The child lives in a bubble that has a mirror and all they see is their bad self. The mirror reflection of I'm deficient, I'm rejected, I'm wrong. So we need to break through this mirror and help them see themselves differently. You're a good person, and this is the problem. This stuff is the problem. And again, on top, you're a good person. So you talk to your child like this. If you're an adult adoptee, if you're a parent and you're recognizing there's a part of you that is experiencing shame, talk to yourself like this. Okay, mindfulness is very important and having compassion. Recognizing that adoptees have this part of them that exists, that is real, that needs acknowledgement, and we're going to be mindful about it. And we're going to identify the feelings. What are the feelings that come with, that are associated with feeling rejected, not good enough? Name the feelings. Identify the feelings. Name the feelings. Write out the feelings. You can even write a letter to your rejected part. And what does your rejected part have to say about all these feelings? Be with the feelings like they're your BFF. Tolerance is how we move through an experience. We think about it, we feel it, we tolerate it, we accept it. Maybe there's pieces we wanna forgive, maybe there's pieces we wanna let go, maybe there are pieces we will not forget and that's okay, but we're tolerating it. We're able to sit with it as uncomfortable as it is. So you can focus on grounding your feet on the floor and do a little exercise and put one hand on your forehead and another hand on your upper chest, right above your heart. <sighs> Taking a deep, big, deep breath through your nose. <sighs> Bring the breath down to your belly and let out a big sigh of relief. <sighs> and if you can elongate the breath, you're actually going to help that fight flight reactivity in your body if you're feeling stress, <sighs> releasing the breath. And you can say to yourself, even though I am feeling rejected, deficient, unlovable, 
I can still have love and compassion for myself. Again, even though there are times that I feel deficient, unlovable, wrong, I can still have love and compassion for myself. And this is a practice. Any mindfulness is a practice. So holding on and letting go is another technique. What are you holding on to? Think about it. Because we form attachments to belief systems. So if you've formed an attachment, there's an adoptee out there, or you know your child has, what are they holding on to? That feeling that I'm just, there's something wrong about me? Well, what do you need to let go of? You can either trace your hands like in this piece of art or do this exercise. Imagine what you're holding on to and clench your hands. What can you imagine you're holding on to? I'm unlovable, I'm deficient. And hold your breath, hold your breath, tolerate this feeling and then release it, release and open up your hands and release it with a breath. <sighs> I release the feeling of feeling unlovable. And you can do it again for yourself. What's another difficult feeling associated with being rejected? You can use imagery. You can imagine you're holding on to something, an image. I imagined as a kid that I was a crumpled up piece of paper. That was the image I had of myself. And I imagined that I opened it up, the piece of paper, I smoothed it out, and I wrote in the piece of paper, I love you, I honor you, I accept you. And it was really profound. That is an exercise within this exercise. What image are you holding onto of yourself? that you need to shift, move, turn into something different, that builds you up, not pushes you down. You are not at fault. It was not your fault and you were not rejected. However, the feeling and the belief system is there. And tapping in a new belief system. So tapping in is a bilateral stimulation in a form of EMDR and Put your hands up like this, you cross your hands and you put your hands on your shoulder like you're giving yourself a hug. You can squeeze your shoulders, give yourself a little massage and tapping in, when I say let's tap in, we're gonna tap right, left, right, alternating shoulders, tapping in an even steady flow as we say these affirmations out loud because what we're doing is we're integrating them in the mind and in the body. And we're integrating a new belief system. And this can also be practiced on a daily basis. So let's do this together. We start tapping. I accept myself. You can say it out loud if you're in a comfortable space. I encourage myself to be more of who I am. I do not diminish my soul, my personality, or my being. I am living my life most confidently. I love who I am. When others reject me, I accept me. I am worthy of self-acceptance. I am worthy of love. I am worthy of being accepted by others, but I do not live to be accepted by others. My value is priceless. I have deep self-respect for who I am. I maintain a strong identity, whether I am rejected or accepted. So hard to swallow pills. How to accept that rejection is a part of life. Accept the reality rejection in general happens to all of us. However, for adoptees, is highly much more sensitive. I love this meme, hard to swallow pills about rejection sensitivity. You can't make everyone happy. You must accept that. You can't make everyone happy. The right people love you. The right people love you. People aren't analyzing your every move. People aren't analyzing your every move. Say it out loud and then say it to yourself. Download this. Anyone gossiping about you is insecure about their 
own life and needs to feel superior. Anyone gossiping about you is insecure about their own life and needs to feel superior. Everyone isn't mad at you. Using the words everyone and all is actually a negative thought reminder. It creates more negative thoughts. Everyone isn't mad at you. You don't have to be perfect to deserve respect. You don't have to be perfect to deserve respect. Some people won't like you, no matter how nice you are, and that's okay. Some people won't like you, no matter how nice you are, and that's okay. So understand rejection does not reflect who you are as a person. Acknowledge you can learn how to pick yourself up, remain confident, and continue working towards your goals day in and day out.